Yes, that's exactly the advantage, uh, that you can stay on one machine, do different operations on one machine. That's the advantage exactly of it. We're here at the Heller Open House at Oliver. In front of an H6000, it's their horizontal machine tool from Heller, but there's something very special about it. I mean, look at this part here. What is this? Uh, what's it for and how do you make it? Yeah, finally, this is just a demo part here in aluminium. We show on this machine interpolation turning. There's a new cycle from Siemens and the Siemens the cycle we present here, yeah. So interpolation turning is more for the big, uh, let's say, bores or for valves with, with, with ceiling surfaces, yeah. But yeah, this is standard. You can do this on, on all kind of uh, HMCs, yeah. I think more interesting is what we have here on the right side, yeah. Okay, so interpolation turning you can do on many horizontal machine tools, but on this side here, you've got tapers, radii, chamfers. Sure, this, has this been put in a lathe? No, this is done here on the HMC. So this is our facing slide unit. We have a U-axis in the machine, in the spindle. And with that kind of unit, uh, we are able to do a kind of turning. Yeah? So this is very flexible. Yeah? So you have a spindle in the spindle, which rotates. Yeah? This is driving a gear, which finally leads a tool to a linear, linear movement. Yeah? And with that, we are able to do chamfers, radius, whatever. So You can do any turning operation we can. on a horizontal machine we tool. Can, yeah. We can even do this with the Siemens cycles. So this is quite easy to, to program. There's nothing uh, special. And, it's a good roundness, a good accuracy, a good surface finish. And for example, we have this very often in uh, oil and gas industry, for example, where we have balls, uh, pump, uh, balls in the pumps, which have different sizes or different contours. So this is very flexible to use. So th those complex features that are normally really hard to produce, unless you buy kind of expensive programmable facing heads and whatnot, which cost a lot, and they might be hard to integrate and hard to program, you guys can do it on the machine tool with the standard Siemens cycle. We can, yes we can. Shall we go and have a quick look at the part a little bit more close up? Let's keep going, let's go around sure. the corner to the side of this sure, machine sure. tool. Yeah. So obviously making parts like this, I mean, am I right to pick this up? That allows, yeah, sure So look at this part, you've got these complex tapers, really strange forms. Yes. Done on, and this is, these can be done in steel and aluminium. On all kind of materials. Any kind of application. Yes, sure. Brilliant. And, and it, it's a very special part of this machine because it's, it's a normal horizontal, but it has that extra spindle and spindle. Now, is that an option? Do you have to buy that? Yes, it's an option. We, we can offer that in all our uh, H machines, also in our HF machines. We have this as an option, yeah. And it's, as said, just a spindle in the spindle. Uh, but maybe we should look at this again on the on the control. They have some some pictures on that. So we can have a quick look at the control to see um, to, to show the explanation of what the what the holder looks like. Not right now because there's there's someone running it. But I see this is it, it reduces the number of operations you have to do, the number of setups you have to to set up a big part. Because I assume this might be part of a big oil and gas part, and this is a smaller set of features that you maybe you don't want to have. This does not justify going taking the part off, putting it on a different machine and doing this operation just specially for this machine. Yes, that's exactly the advantage, uh, that you can stay on one machine, do different operations on one machine, that's the advantage exactly of it. And but you just have to remember, the diameters shouldn't get too big. Yeah? So we have HSK 100 in this case, yeah? and if the diameter is too big, then we come certainly to a point when interpolation is maybe the better solution because of balancing reasons and all that stuff. So yeah. what kind of diameters can you do these operations with? Let's say you see here very small diameters. We start here in a diameter range, let's say 20 to 30 millimeters, and it can go up to, let's say, 200, 300 millimeters. Which is still, still, uh, it's still huge. That yeah, covers a lot possible, of bores, yeah. definitely. So depending the facing slide, there are different, let's say, um, um, opportunities. Yeah, with the, there, there can be a, a radius of 20 millimeters. There can also be a radius of even 70 millimeters, which you can do with such a facing slide head. So this depends on, on the configuration. So Mapal and Sarah Tissit are here our partners which uh, are delivering this, this kind of stuff. Brilliant. So it's, it's obvious to me that it, this is all about reducing the number of operations, increasing the accuracy on the whole part and the different uh, stack up of tolerances between maybe different datums and bores and whatnot. Yes, that's exactly. All, in, all with one machine with no extra equipment just the facing head. It's a facing head and a turning tool, yes. Brilliant. If you've got complex operations, you're having to move on to different machines in oil and gas parts, maybe you've got tolerance, tolerancing problems and you want to do them all in one setup, go check out Heller, look at the horizontal machine tools with an extra spindle in spindle, which allows you to do complex operations like this on a horizontal machine tool. It's, I'm amazed. It is. <laughs>